my name is Ahmed Youssef. I'm the internal medicine hospitalist and medical ICU director here at Selene Memorial Hospital. We're going to make this video and videos in the coming days as much as is feasible uh, to update the community here in Selene County on the COVID-19 pandemic and medical recommendations from the physicians uh, and, and the hospital as a whole in general for you and your family. In the links below, you'll see some extra added information from the CDC website, which is the most reliable, up-to-date information. Um, and you'll also see uh, a link to the UAMS page to help assess some screening tools if you have any concerns. So COVID-19 is a serious pandemic and we're going to take it seriously both as a hospital and as a healthcare community amongst the physicians. But what we want to make sure is that the community and individuals feel educated to react appropriately when they're worried about contracting the disease or spreading the disease or having symptoms severe enough to come to the hospital. One of our biggest concerns as a hospital system and as a physician is that patients and people in the community who have relatively mild symptoms come to the hospital hoping for testing or uses of resources that will need to be allocated to people that are much sicker. The COVID-19 virus will often cause relatively mild symptoms in most people who contract it. Things like a runny nose, a cough, a low-grade fever, and some body aches. And most people will recover with just supportive measures, similar things uh, that we do for any cold, things like chicken soup, fluids, Tylenol and ibuprofen, and so on. For the people that are most at risk, and that typically includes the elderly or people with comorbidities such as diabetes, cardiovascular disease, or COPD, they can develop significantly more serious respiratory symptoms. And that's why it's important that if you develop significant shortness of breath, if you cannot tolerate oral liquids or food and maintain a reasonable amount of hydration, or if your symptoms seem to progress to a point where you can't properly take care of yourself or feel that you have need, that's the time that you should call 911 or come directly to the hospital. Otherwise, we recommend reaching out to other resources you have, including your community physicians, your outpatient primary care physicians, and other resources like the UAMS website below. If you have any questions or concerns, reach out to your primary care doctor. If you feel ill more than you can take care of yourself, please come get help and otherwise, look out for the Sleep Memorial website page and Facebook page for further information.